Minister Angie and welcome to a sermon and song. We want to dedicate this sermon and song talking about McDujo Gospel Music Productions. McDujo is a family organization consisting of two sisters and a brother. Dr. McQueen is the Mac, Du is the Ducket for myself, and Johnson is for my brother, Vernon Johnson. Uh, we are the executive producers, we are the marketers, we are the A&R people of the organization, and we bring good sound, wonderful songs from the throne room of grace. Uh, we, we've taken the word of God, and uh, these songs are written uh, based on the word of God. Uh, Dr. McQueen and myself are responsible for the A&R or the artists and repertoire. Uh, we are the executive producers and the producers of the, uh, the program. Um, Vernon Johnson, he's in charge of the marketing uh, of the, the company. And Rhonda, Rhonda is a writer, an awesome, awesome writer of God. Uh, what happened is we've pooled our resources together uh, and our giftings together, and we've come up with the McDujo Gospel Music Production. Ironically, Dr. McQueen had had a dream. Uh, she had a dream many years ago uh, that she would have her own re recording company, a record company. And uh, uh, with that dream, she wrote that vision down. And as you know, in the book of Habakkuk, uh, uh, chapter 2, verse 2, it says, write the vision and make it plain upon tablets. And she did that. Uh, Dr. McQueen uh, had that vision, um, and we, uh, the sisters and brothers, we had those giftings as well, and we brought all that together to have now McDujo Gospel Music Productions. Know that dreams never die. answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tablets, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, for where there is no vision, the people perish. And now, forgetting those things which are behind, I reach for the things which are ahead. I press toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Dreams never die In the deep recesses of your mind They lie, they lie, they lie, they lie. Take the key to your imagination Could be the key to all creation inner vision is the third eye so follow your dream no matter where they lead no matter how strange they seem no matter Never too late to follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. You know, dreams are the way to make the spirits fly. Catch them if you can. Don't let them slip through your hands like grains of sand.
Don't be afraid to dream. die. Now, in addition to MacDujo uh, music repertoire, we also are ministers of the gospel of Christ. And I would like to turn it over to Dr. McQueen right now to talk about the ministry in itself. Thank you, uh, Minister Angie. Yes, we are ministers of the gospel and we are a part of a vision that God has given us in these last days Yes, to minister to to the people. You know, God in these last days, he's using all kinds of media, mediums to bring his word to the people. Absolutely. Dance, plays, uh, uh, music, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all kinds of ways, even, even in addition uh, to the spoken word, of mm -hmm. course. Absolutely. We, we can't, you know, we have to have the spoken word. But he's using all these different avenues, all these different kinds of, of uh, means to bring the word because it's going out all over the world. Absolutely. And uh, people in these days and times, everything is so visual. I mean, we, there's a TV, there's movies, there's uh, all kinds of electronic mm -hmm, devices mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that God is using. And he, God is the one who uh, created those devices for his own use. Absolutely. Of course, we know Satan is an imitator, and he's going to come along and right, try to right. use these devices for his uh, benefit. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the word is going forth from us through the music. music. And we, again, I always say our music is like preventative medicine. Medicine, amen. Because we want people to know that all of the things that they're going through, if they know the word, That's if you right. have God in your life, if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, then uh, most of those things you can prevent. Absolutely. You know, there's so many things that are happening where uh, uh, there's all kinds of, of, uh, of, of killing and war and, 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 and just 
all kinds of horrible, horrific things happening in the world. But the Bible says that a thousand will fall at thy right hand. Ten thousand. And ten thousand at that left. Come on. But none. Levi got that right. But anyway, it will not come nigh you. That's right. Because you have a relationship with the Father. Amen. He has promised so much to us mm. to protect us. Amen. And to keep us. And he will bring us through Amen. if we know how to pray and we learn his word. Amen. And that's what we need to do. We need to know his word. If you don't know his word today, then you need to get into a good Bible teaching church Amen. and learn his word. Amen. And also, you can hear it from us Amen. because we're bringing it through our music. If you want to get our music, uh, you enjoy it, you know it is replete. Mm -hmm. with scripture. Amen. All of our music is a sermon. In That's song. why we call this program a sermon, sermon in, in song. song. Because and all of our music is replete. Amen. With, this, with scripture. Amen. That's Amen. And, and uh, you can go on Amazon.com yes. and get it. You can go on iTunes, iTunes and CD get it. Baby. You can go on CD Baby and get it. You can also go to our website. Yes which is www.mcdujogospelmusic.org and it will drive you to uh, our music. Amen. And in, in you will, uh, I know, I'm confident that you will be inspired. Amen. That's Amen. our logo, mm -hmm. our, our uh, expect to be, to be inspired. inspired. Amen. We, you have to expect to be inspired and you will be inspired listening to our music. We come under the auspices of Seed of Faith Ministry. Yes. That's our ministry. I am the, the pastor of that ministry, mm -hmm. Seed of Faith. Amen. And we also, Angie, we're affiliated uh, with another with, with an, ministry. Absolutely. Anointed Vessels Productions. Yes. Um, that is a uh, production that, a company that actually um, supports an after school program, um, uh, at risk youth program, should I say, um, and then we have the after school programs within that, um, and, and in fact, the, the students of that program go around and do productions mm. uh, to support the Word of God as well, and uh, um, just everyday life challenges. Um, and so we're, we're trying mm -hmm. to give that, um, the, the youth, another avenue mm -hmm. besides being out there on the streets yes. after school, yes. not having anything to do, and, and, and just basically a learning about God's word so they can have that foundation that's definitely needed in this day and time definitely to get through. In this day and Absolutely, time. to get through this life. Amen, amen. Our youth are, are, are being impacted by oh. so many things that we as older people, we didn't have that no, when we no, were coming up. Absolutely we not. could pretty much walk the streets and feel pretty safe, mm -hmm. even as little kids. But our youth now have so much to contend with, so peer many. pressure, yes. all of everything that's on the, the media, internet, the media, <laughs> yes. the, the Facebook, they have so much to contend with, My gosh. so many things that will uh, distract them yeah, there you go. from the Word of God. Mm. Distract them, keep them from knowing who God is. These are the last days. Amen, amen. And the Bible says that in the last days that, there, that perilous times would come. Would come. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these are perilous times. We just uh, found out about a young man mm. that in the family that was killed Amen. just recently. Mm -hmm. His funeral is today, as a matter yeah, of fact. Yeah. And uh, he was a young man, 17, but he was out there on his own doing so many things that he should not have been doing, yeah. not knowing who God is. And that's why we affiliate ourselves with organizations Amen. that are bringing the Word of God to our youth. youth. Amen. To our youth. Amen. And it, it's so important that you, uh, we want you to support us. Yes, yes. Uh, we uh, just contact our website and you will be able to find out how to get in touch with us and send donations mm -hmm. to help support these youth ministries. Amen, amen. In the name of Jesus. And, we and really need, we need the support and we need you to 
support us also when you buy these songs. Amen. That helps to support us because it costs money to bring these shows and this, this, these, uh, this music to, to you. you. Amen. It costs money for us to produce the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we are just encouraging you today to think about what we're doing and, and perhaps get in touch with us, write us. Partner. And partner with us Amen. to help Amen. bring this music uh, to the world and to help us with these youth. Amen. 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 See um, the Faith Ministries, we've also worked with the homeless. And yes, that, we have. Right, right. Yes, and, we and have. in any area that we are affiliated with, we are bringing the word of God. You must know that. Yes. Um, and we encourage you to, to, to do the same. Uh, get into this yes. word and, and be able to feel, to spill out there in this dying world. Absolutely. Yes, we, we uh, very much are uh, concerned about the homeless. Uh, this past summer, we uh, were out feeding the homeless. Yes, and, yes. Uh, this past holiday, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. we were affiliated with a group that fed 20,000. Amen, amen. Oh, I'm sorry, not 20,000, 2,000. 2, <laughs> hey, that's... <laughs> we would have been there all week. Visionary, she's a visionary. Yeah. <laughs> they fed 2,000 people. I amen. mean, the line was around the corner. Hallelujah. And so we, we, we affiliate ourselves with those kinds of things because we we want this word to go forth. We Amen. want people to be saved. Yes. These are the last days. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the music. Yes. Um, you just sang a song, Dreams Never Die. Uh, you were the writer of that song? Yes, I wrote that song along with uh, my cousin, Jacqueline. Our cousin. But our cousin, <laughs> yes. Jacqueline Poindexter. Yes. She's uh, um, a writer in her own right. I Amen. mean, she, is, Amen. she and her family have written many songs that are, have been on the market for years. Yes. For example, they wrote, It's a Thin Line Between, Between Love and Hate. And hate. Amen. That Amen. song is still a classic. Yeah, absolutely. And it's being played everywhere. Yeah. They yeah. even made a movie, movie. out of right, it. Right, right. <laughs> you know, so she's a great writer, she and her husband and family. And she wrote the lyrics to mm -hmm. that song, mm -hmm. Dreams. But I wrote the uh, rap, if you will. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not really the rap that they do now, but uh, I wrote the end. The Lord gave me right. all those words. Mm. And I added the scripture right. at the beginning of it. But I, uh, when I heard that song, I said, I, I want to sing that song. There you go. You know? There you go. And so I added some things to it and it became my uh, kind of a theme song. Theme song there you go. You, you had the dream. Dreams never done. There you go. There you go. Um, you, know. you have another song called Wisdom. Wisdom. And uh, Rhonda, my niece, her daughter, wrote that song. And it is just incredible. In fact, I believe you opened this program with Wisdom. Yes, right? Wisdom is the theme song for this program. Absolutely. Yes. And, and, and we need that wisdom. What does the Lord say about wisdom? Uh, you know, as far as um, in all, well, there are a couple of scriptures here. Yes, the Lord talks about wisdom and understanding yes. and all thy getting, getting, get an understanding. Absolutely, get wisdom. And if you want wisdom, wisdom you need wisdom. You just ask Him. Yes, and He will give it to and you. He freely. will give it to you. Absolutely, He will give it to you freely. Yes, Lord. He said, "All Amen. you have to do is ask." Mm -hmm. We need wisdom in these last days. Amen. We need to know. Uh, I, I, I mean. I noticed that with all the technology mm. that's going on in these last days, with all the technology, there's a lot of wisdom that's being uh, hidden or mm. overlooked or overshadowed, uh -huh, let's uh -huh. say, overshadowed. Right. Because people are relying on just, they're relying on machines to do the work However, and to do the thinking. Right. And, uh, but if that machine like, breaks, you'll need a person to fix it. Yes. <laughs> Yes, oh. that's, that's true. That's, that's so weird. So. Well, you know, we want to also introduce now, we want to introduce Angie's new single. It's called Stand Up. And I want you to listen to the words to this song. It is very, very important 
in these last days. It was also written by one of my daughters, Makeda English. She wrote this song, and I mean, this song is awesome. Amen. It says so much, and it's a message for today. Amen. Let's hear it. Stand Hallelujah. up. There's no right or wrong, just carrying on No word of God with ease We cannot compromise Open up your eyes Being born again and full of sin We will never win It's time we show the world what's real so do what's right not what you feel will the real christian stand up stand up stand up for what you believe There's no middle road around You need to stick with him Not just on a whim Why is your life so dim? You need to let it shine And say what's on your mind The word of God is true But it's up to you Now here's what you know you are a child of God It's time we show the world our love Will the real Christian stand up? Hallelujah! Stand up! Stand up for what you Stand on up. Hallelujah. Dr. McQueen, we've got to stand up for what's right. Hallelujah. And at this time, we want to talk a little bit more about some more of our music, but we want to also right now compel those people that are watching. Hallelujah. It is time to stand up. Hallelujah. You've got to be bold, so stand up, mm, yeah, for what you believe. You gotta stand up for what you believe. We're McDougal Gospel Music Productions. We come to you with all of this good music. Hallelujah. Stand up if you believe. If you never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, all you have to do, according to Romans 10, 9, and 10, is open your mouth 
Hallelujah. If you believe in your heart, thank you, Jesus, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins mm. and rose on the third day from the dead. Hallelujah for your justification. Hallelujah. If you've never said that prayer, then it's time for you to do so right now. Hallelujah. Yes. Heavenly Father, I praise you and I thank you. I praise believe you and I thank you. that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe Jesus died for my sins. And on the third day, and on the third day, he rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. He's forgiven me of my sins. He has forgiven me. Hallelujah. And I am saved. Yes. I am delivered. I am set free. And I'm set free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is the time. The time is now. Yes. Stand up for what you believe. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. The time is now. Amen. The time is now. Thank you, Father. These are the last days. Yes, Lord. We don't know the hour that Jesus is coming back, but he said he was going to come back. Yes. You don't want to be left behind. Hallelujah. The people that are going to be left behind on this earth are going to go through a terrible tribulation. Yes, yes. And we believe that he's coming back uh, to, to, uh, to bring us with him. Yes. This is not his second coming. This is the coming of the rapture. Yes. This is when we will be raptured, the church will be raptured. But then he is going to come, uh, have a second coming. But we as the church will be raptured and we will be in heaven. We will be up there getting our rewards all for all the things that we've done on this earth. Yes, there are rewards. And you don't want to get up there and, and, and uh, don't have any rewards, so you better get busy helping to build the kingdom Amen. too. Amen. You see, so you can have some rewards up there. But at the same time, we want people to know that if you haven't been saved, if you have not accepted Jesus, yeah. you need to do so now. Right now. Minister Angie did that prayer, Hallelujah. and that was a wonderful song for those of you who are hiding and, and, and afraid yeah, or ashamed and don't want anybody to know that you're a Christian, don't do that. Because Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me be be, be, uh, mm. before men, yes. I will be ashamed of you before my Father. Yes, so you don't want to be ashamed of God. You want to stand up and let the world know who you are, Amen. that you are a Christian. Amen? Amen. Well, join us again next time. <laughs> We're so happy that you came. Amen. Join us again. We're out of time. With the wisdom of the world